hey, I'm still avoiding finishing version 0.7.0, you get another quick tip video. I'm looking here at two advanced ways to use high TD whites to really up your Hue Forge to another level. This is the first of the more advanced tutorials that I'm going to be doing. I'll do a bunch of these, but this is probably the first and most important lesson. There are two specific ways you can use white to really help up your game. The first is that you'll notice that a lot of darker colors, base colors, are low TD, ones, even less. And because they're so low in TD, you really can't blend them with anything. You can get some black beneath them. So for instance, here I have the Polylight Pro blue, uh, blue green, uh, which is a 0 0.5. It basically has no light coming. And uh, so then if I just try to stack this with another color, it's going to look like a really jarring transition. Um, and so one of the things I do is I put a high TD white, in this case, the 3D Max vanilla cream white on top of it. Now, if I disable this slider, you can see that it really doesn't look very good. I get this blown out um, light blue everywhere. And, but if I bring this up to 22, where that slider was before, so 13, it, it's really chunky. It's very, very harsh shadows. It doesn't blend at all. I don't get any of what I want here. But if I bring that white in, I get a beautiful, smooth blend up into the color above it. Um, nice thing here, too, is that I can use this white multiple times in the same image. And even with the four unit AMS, I can get multiple swaps out of it and get details in multiple places. So it's the first use of it. I'm going to use it on top of a dark color to lighten it up. You don't have to use this particular white, the one I grab. Other good examples would be the Paramount Pro or Paramount 3D white. Um, actually, the Prusament Pearl white is a around a 10. It does give it a sheen, which you may or may not want. It may look a little different, but in considering what effect you might be looking for, it could be great. Also, Sunlu Meta white, uh, King Rune white, and then the Bamboo uh, Tough Cream white, which is great for the Bamboo crowd, especially with those filament deals and the memberships, because it's going to be read into your machine automatically, and it's right around a 10 all the time. So great options for you on high TD filaments. The other place to use it is as a second white at the top. If I turn this one off, you'll see that the face and the body become very blown out. You get this white around here that's just solid white, and you kind of lose any depth in the face there. By bringing in a much higher TD white, I blend. Again, I'm blending this color up, but I tend to think of this as a double white. I attach it to the other white with the high TD below the low TD. So this four, which is like uh, bamboo jade white, um, Polymaker Pro, Polymaker White, which is about five, four or five, very similar. Um, this high TD white lets me dial in how much of this high specular highlight I want from very, very little all the way down to, you know, almost the whole face with just a little bit of texture. I have real control over how much of that specular I want. Um, without the specular, you get nowhere near as bright, you can't get as saturated, and you get kind of this flatter look. So you really do still want this bright white on top, um, but you want both the white. So the double white and the white on top of a dark to blend that dark into a lighter shade. These are great techniques you can use to elevate your hue forge to the next level and think about filament blending in a different way. Hope this is helpful. Keep you forging.